In today's video, I'm going to talk about how to generate leads for digital agencies. We've generated over $100 million in leads, mostly for digital agencies over the last seven years. And that's what I wanted to talk about in today's video. How do we break this down? How do we make this as easy as possible for you to generate leads for your digital agency? If that's you, if I'm talking about you, then you're going to love this content coming up right now. But first, smash that like button and subscribe down below for more content like this. Now, Enjoy the video. The problem for marketing and digital agencies is self-blindness. I can't tell you how many marketing agencies come to us and need help with their own marketing or how many SEO agencies grow only from referrals or paid ads agencies aren't running ads for their own companies or cold email agencies aren't sending cold emails on their own behalf. It doesn't make any sense, but it's self-blindness, I guess. And these agencies that pretend to be very good at SEO but aren't ranked are okay, I guess, because they generate clients. These influencer marketing agencies that don't have any influencers on the payroll, I don't want to say they're good. I don't think they're good. But let's see if we can help here because of self-blindness. It's a very real thing. Marketing agencies have a hard time seeing and improving their own marketing channels. Let's start by going over how to do it the right way. First things first, you have to have a solid niche and identify your customers specifically. For X27, we do lead generation for agencies. For Taplio, we do LinkedIn content, which means anybody who uses LinkedIn regularly will use our software. So if you have posts on LinkedIn, you're a good quality candidate. For web design agencies, you might niche down and build websites just for apparel startups or e-commerce in general, e-commerce Shopify stores, whatever it is, you need to find a niche. How do you niche down? Well, number one is you've got to pick a market in which you have experience. The better case study you have, the easier it will be to find work within that market. Number two is you want to make sure that the market has clients that can pay you. You don't want to go after brand new business owners or mom and pop small businesses because they're not going to have the money to pay you what you're worth. I would rather you sell a $50,000 website than a $500 website. And typically the only difference between those two are the buyers. A financial services firm might pay 50K, whereas your local cupcake shop is only gonna pay 500. And so it's up to you as the agency owner to pick the one that can pay more. Number three is if you're selling digital marketing, you wanna find ones that have a need for digital marketing. Typically I go after ones that have some experience of their own, and that way I'm optimizing a working campaign instead of trying to push people to do things my way. Meaning, if I wanna sell SEO, I would love to go after companies that already have a blog. That means I know that they understand the value of SEO, they just might not be good at it. If I'm trying to sell Facebook ads, I wanna go after companies that are already selling Facebook ads, that way they know the value and they're trying even if they might be failing. That's a lot better than talking to somebody who has never run Facebook ads in their life and you're trying to sell them on doing this Facebook ads thing. Because there's a reason in 2023, if they haven't done Facebook ads yet, there's a reason why. So make sure they have a need for digital marketing before you sell to them. And you can do that by finding high quality leads on a site like LeadShark. Then you wanna determine what offer will attract your target client. What offer is gonna make you money? And if you want to learn more about offers, check out our video on no-brainer offers that we did, where we go in depth about how to create an offer that people would be stupid for saying no to. Once you have the offer and the target audience and the offer is based on a case study that you've succeeded with, now you can make a list of customers to pitch. So you go over to leadshark.com and you build a list by picking your industry, by picking your job titles, lead location, your number of employees, and then you're good to go. Download the leads and you can send those via customized cold email. Cold email is one of the best ways to reach out to new clients. And I would know I wrote this book called The Cold Email Manifesto, and we've generated over $100 million in leads with cold email. What that basically is, is sending a message to somebody who's never met you before, and pitching your service to them in order to get them to respond. We've used cold emails to get responses from people like Dunkin' Donuts, Morgan Stanley, and even billionaires like Mark Cuban. Then, once you start sending those cold emails, you should optimize the campaigns. If the open rates are low, you'll rewrite the subject line or you'll find better leads. And in fact, if you want to have the whole checklist that we use to optimize our cold email campaigns, then you can view that at email10k.com slash checklist. You just go through that step by step by step and you'll have high performing campaigns. You can have that 
absolutely free. If you want to learn more about lead generation and join an awesome community of people and have me help you out live on weekly calls, it also comes with full access to all of our courses on business growth. To join that, go to email10k.com now. And if you want 200 leads for only $9, then go on over to leadshark.com slash YouTube. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to smash that like button to encourage this type of content on YouTube. Subscribe for more videos like this, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. I'm Alex Berman.